Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Orleman Frost. Welcome back to another edition of Throwback Tuesdays. This time we're actually doing it on Tuesdays, so you guys are welcome. Uh, but anyways, this time we are doing something a little different here on Throwback Tuesdays. We're going back to actually a throwback of another series, if you guys know what I mean. So I have this series on my channel still going on right now called Flip Fridays, where basically every Friday... I get on a game of some sort, maybe do a live com or just a standard com, whatever I feel like doing that uh, day, obviously, and I flip the gameplay around so that it looks differently, uh, and so that it looks, you know, cooler. It just kind of makes it different, you know, it flips it horizontally, and just, you know, it's it's pretty cool. So definitely check out that series. Gonna give you guys a little sneak peek right now of a throwback Flip Fridays. This is basically my first Flip Fridays ever produced. It's actually a dual com with my good friend Matt. Uh, so definitely look forward to that. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. If you do, feel free to hit the video with a like, share it with friends. Tell me in the comment section below what else you guys want to see uh, for next like Throwback th Tuesdays or anything like that. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys on the next video. All right, guys. Enjoy. Bye. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Frost, and welcome to the first ever edition of Flip Fridays. And yes... I know you guys are seeing this gameplay right here and all, you know, twirled around edition of Interchange that doesn't even look like Interchange. It looks like a completely different map, but uh, I think it's actually a cool effect, you know, how I got the uh, watermark and hell, I, I even I even put the intro backwards. But uh, yeah, I, I decided to do this uh, first episode of Flip Fridays here with one of my good friends, Matt. I told you guys uh, last week that I was still going to be doing a dual com for uh, this episode of Flip Fridays. After this, though... I probably won't unless it's like, you know, a special occasion or something, but, uh, yeah, Matt, say hello to my viewers. Hello to my viewers. Wow. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something real quick. Um, I actually, I just got a couple of emails uh, finalizing my contract agreement and stuff uh, with full screen, you know, the whole thing. Uh, so, We're in right now. Well, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm still waiting for one more email to uh, to enable the whole AdSense and, uh, you know, the the banner. But if you see that on my channel by the time you see this video, which is tomorrow, uh, then you know I will have a partnership. And uh, if you've seen the ad on the start of my video, then obviously you know I have a partnership now. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty going great. So I kind of cut it because... Uh, you know, I was actually talking to a couple of my friends. I'm gonna, I was like, I was gonna laugh so hard that if I got my partnership on the first day that I started started school, and as you guys know, this uh, well Thursday was the day that I started school. You guys are seeing this on Friday, but me and Matt are recording uh, this on Thursday. I started on Tuesday. Yeah. And but finally, I'm actually in grade ten, lol. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, you guys heard yesterday that I did, uh, you know, my, my whole, uh, my whole first day of school and stuff and how that went. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that link is in the description to the video. Um, go check that out. Do, some a, love. do a school vlog and record my school days. School days? Hmm. Anyway, we're going to move to the topic now. Matt didn't want to be, uh, notified what the topics were. He just wanted to be a surprise. So hopefully he doesn't epically fail, so... Matt, uh, what we're moving into right now is uh, whether or not you want to plug your channel a little bit. So why don't you tell my viewers uh, what you do over on your channel and what you're all about. That, that, that they already know, though. That's... Fuck! Uh, my voice is too high to voice crack. Shut up, voice. All right, well... <clears throat> I can't explain what I do. Hello? Hi, come on, go. Okay, well, I thought your mic was all fucked up again. Oh. Well, I, I don't know. I do everything in Pokemon. Actually, no, I don't Pokemon, because Pokemon's a bit gay. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't define what I do. I do everything. Freaking bike videos, gaming, the, everything. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, he literally does everything in the book. Uh, <laughs> you know, the only time he posts Call of Duty is when he gets a good gameplay, which that is rare, rarely, rarely ever. I have but, a bunch of gameplays on my hard drive right now. Just don't use them. Why don't you post them? But um, <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. So uh, yeah, I know this. Uh, I know this whole gameplay right now. You guys are probably still trying to figure out uh, what part of the map this is in. Uh, in uh, the real version of Interchange, 
but hopefully you guys will find that entertaining just you know going around just make sure you listen to the commentary though instead of just trying to track down what parts of the map you're at uh Dude, yeah so you, you should move. flip fridays backwards so it's like s y a i don't know how to spell fridays backwards but did you just oh okay s y a d i r f um anyway we're gonna move into a topic now i did hit on this last week with gun hearted but i just want to uh get your opinions and uh your thoughts on whether or not you're gonna purchase black ops 2 and uh what you what you really want to expect from the game i know that uh you know call of duty is a dying series but from what i've seen so far they completely revamped call of duty i wouldn't even consider it cod anymore but obviously they're still calling it call of duty black ops 2 and uh, pretty much what I am excited for is the zombies part. I mean, I, I might play multiplayer a little bit, but uh, yeah. Black Ops multiplayer, I wasn't really a big fan. But uh, if you want to, if you want to evaluate on uh, some of the things that you've heard about Black Ops Two and uh, what you're excited for, go for it. Well, I don't. I'm not really ex. Like, okay, I, I've realized that if you get excited for a Call of Duty game or whatever, you just get fucked over the end. They always screw up the game somehow. Yeah, and they're not like they're not really listening to their like viewers. I guess you could say it's not viewers, but, like players. I, I don't, I don't know, but like, um. when, like, ev- like everyone keeps telling them to go back to the old like COD four days. And I know they're trying to try new stuff, but it's not, it's not even a, like it's not even called like it's the journey to Halo. Like. They're they're making it too sophisticated rather than just simple. You know what I mean? Like they're making all this new stuff that hell. Who knows? God knows. Like, it might hit, it might not. You know, it, it's kind of a it's a win lose relationship because you know it it could be a big hit, but in the end it could be a fail or it could be a hit all the way through. Maybe this will be the be- best Call of Duty so far, or you know this could be just another fail Call of Duty. You know, something like that. But um. And uh, was one more thing that you know the uh, the sun I don't know what it's called the sun rays thing I guess you, I don't know the a weird thing that you put down and like. Blinds the enemy, I guess you could say. Oh, I think, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Trailer, um, uh, do you think you could put a picture of it up right now? Like, because if people, anyone, like, if they know what we're talking about. Yeah, like, if I can find one, there'll be a picture on the screen right now. Yeah, well, that thing, uh, I don't, apparently a lot of people are excited for it, but the minute I saw it, I'm like, no, that's, like, who's gonna use that? Yeah, really. I guess you could set it in, like, a doorway or something. Like, I, don't I mean, know. You... I, I kind of think of it as sort of, like, I know it doesn't, like, I don't know, it's kind of similar to a trophy system, you know, it protects you in some ways, but at the same time, it, it, it gives the uh, enemy disadvantages, but at the same time, it gives you disadvantages for not having those concussion grenades, those flash grenades, you know, stuff that really helps you win those gunfights, and uh, I don't know, it, it might come it might come in handy, but at the same time, it, uh, it might be a complete fail, so. Yeah, and, uh... I, I'm more of a rusher, I guess you could say, so I'm not gonna have time to walk up to someone and plant it right in their face. And be like, no, exactly. You, you, what you'd have to do is, you know, you, you'd put it at an objective on demolition, or put it on a flag, or you know, put it on a, a bomb site on search and destroy or something. That's that's pretty much where it would come in handy. But if you're sticking to like team deathmatch, kill confirmed, uh, it's not gonna really come in all that handy, and uh, you know. That's that's probably the game modes where it's going to come into play that it's not going to be a very, you know, useful piece of equipment to use and you're probably better off with, you know, your flash grenades or your concussions or, you know, some around those lines. I have a question though. Uh I don't know if you are, are they bringing back kill confirmed because I, I don't know anything. Yeah, kill confirmed is brought back, yeah. So that's that's my favorite game type. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try to keep my rank up in kill confirmed too on that game. I'm going to be playing Modern Warfare 3 too because I don't want to lose my rank and kill confirmed. And I guarantee you, uh, my rank probably could go up if I keep playing Modern Warfare 3 when everyone else is playing Black Ops 2. But, uh, no, it's not that hard. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, so, feeling, uh, I, I have a feeling that everyone's going to switch back to Modern Warfare 3 like they do every single freaking Call of Duty. Probably. Like, okay, we got about 30 seconds left, but we're just going to evaluate this this cycle to Call of Duty. It's not going to take too long. But pretty much what it is, come November, it's just like, oh my god, this is the best Call of Duty yet. Then, you know, come around February, March, it's like, oh my god, this is so damn shit. 
Like, the mm-hmm. previous one was so much better. Then they go back to the previous one, and they're like, Oh my god, this game is so awesome! I can't believe how awesome it is! What? Meanwhile, all the tryhards are, like, playing Black Ops 2 and stuff, so... And then, you know, just cycle repeats and stuff, and, uh, yeah. Just I- goes on like that. Thanks. But, uh, yeah, we're coming to an end. Actually, the gameplay is over, so I might put a little tiny bit... A uh, little tiny clip or something in there, but, uh... Or a picture, yeah, so... or a picture of a micro piggy and cupcake. We, we could do that. We could, <laughs> we could do that. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it to uh, Flip Fridays. Hopefully you guys, you know, didn't get uh, your your eyes too fucked up watching that gameplay. I know it is kind of confusing, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, that's pretty much it. Matt, you want to sign us out? Oh God. Dude, me and my dad were at Paul Max Pet Food, and there was a micro pig, and I was sitting there petting it. It was awesome. My dad took a picture. Eat it. Okay, you want to sign us out? <laughs> um, Cookies. All right, bye.